Good morning, you guys. Welcome to my channel. It is Thanksgiving week, so happy Thanksgiving. This vlog is gonna be just prepping for Thanksgiving, basically. My brother and sister-in-law are hosting. So my sister-in-law shared like what she's um, gonna be serving. She's doing a lot. She's doing the most. She's always does the most though. And she works full time and she has three kids. I'm gonna be doing a little turkey brownies that I shared about doing a pumpkin cheesecake which we'll see because here the rv the oven's different and then also i realized i don't have a spring form pan so all i have is a pie dish so we're gonna try to improvise and see what happens and then i'm doing green bean casserole which i do every single year and also a fresh garden salad so that's kind of what i'm doing i'm still using my iphone because my canon is still with best buy but I got this food for my cats a while ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, and it comes completely frozen. I got it because of an ad on Instagram. They got me. It is very expensive, like compared to super cheap food you can buy at the grocery store, but I wanted to give it a try. I got the fish one because my kids love like seafood, and you thaw it in the fridge, like you put it until it thaws. One of my cats, Chai, did not like this at first. Like she wouldn't even eat it. She sniffed it and walked away, and then eventually she kind of got used to it. The other one, you could feed him anything. He will eat anything. Just give him food. So I kind of mix, go between this, some dry kibble. Usually I give him Sheba because they love that. But I thought I would just give this a try. And I'm not going to lie, in this economy, this is expensive. It's expensive. Look at these little cutie booties. It is the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Look at this woman. I am a comp complete procrastinator in the sense of when I, it's weird because I'm like super organized. I am a planner, but when it comes to like doing tasks that I know that I need to do, like whether I signed up for them or I have to do it for whatever reason, I wait till the last minute. I don't know why. I feel like I just work better that way. I don't, I don't understand that, but here we are. Here we are. I guess because in my mind, I, I know what I need to do and I know that I can do it today. So I'm just like, I don't know. Is anybody else like that? I don't know. But I have my hot water here. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of cold water because this is, nah, we're just going to keep it like this. And just sip on the couch. Sip on the couch. We're going to sit on the couch and sip on it. If I could turn back time. Oh, it was hot. I made my cappuccino. And I'm just going to sit here, do a little bit of editing. Super festive in here, you guys. So yeah, that's what my morning is gonna look like. My kids are playing. They don't have school today because it is Thanksgiving break. This is my breakfast. These are egg witch sandwiches I found at Aldi. So instead of biscuit, it's egg. It's like 210 calories, but it's pretty good. I usually don't like too much bread anyway. So for me, this is like perfect. And you get more protein this way. And then I like it with the taco bell salsa and then avocado salsa. And then I also found this at Aldi. I'm gonna try this out. I usually make my own scones. But I saw this and I was like, oh, this actually looks really good. The like cute little mini cranberry orange scones. I'm going to bake them in the air fryer and see what they're like. I'm just going to brush them with some half and half, which is what I used to do. And then you can sprinkle them with sugar if you want. I also found these juices at Aldi. There's this ginger one, a greens one, and turmeric one. The green one has like pretty high sugar, so I don't want to start my day off with that. Compared to like your typical greens juice of celery. I actually got to finish this one from yesterday. I don't know if you guys watched that vlog. I have to finish this. All that to say, Aldi has some amazing finds. Do not sleep on Aldi. I heard them kind of smelling like they're getting burned, so I run, ran over here real quick. There was a minute left on the air fryer. I lowered the temperature in the hot time just because the air fryer is such a small space. Taste test. So crawly. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm, that was so good. Oh yeah. These are delicious. Alexa, play Ralph Lauren Christmas playlist on Spotify. A Ralph Lauren Christmas from Spotify. My favorite song ever.
Happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. Everybody's still slowly waking up. Happy Thanksgiving. It is a beautiful, foggy day. It's snowing in New York. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I know jealousy is bad, but like I mean that lightheartedly because I remember having Thanksgiving with my family on multiple occasions and I would look outside my parents' dining room window and snow would just be falling and covering the trees and it's just like beautiful memories and that's kind of like what I grew up with and so I miss snow during this time of the year so much I think because it ties into kind of how I grew up so I am a little bit jealous central New York out there getting some snow but I guess I won't be jealous in February when they're still getting snow or March I don't miss that so you win some you lose some in life it's only nine o'clock I did the cheesecake I'll let you guys know how it is I feel like I slightly overbaked it even though it's set beautifully I cut the recipe in half for this pie dish. I'll leave the recipe down below. And it said to cook it for like an hour 10 to an hour 30. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do like, I think I did 50 minutes. No, or 45 minutes, something like that. Even that was, I should have put it to like 35, 40 and just eyeballed it. But it set well and I let it cool down with the door open and then took it out, let it cool down before I wrapped it and put it in the fridge. And I'm gonna make like homemade whipped topping with heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, vanilla, and add some cinnamon in there. But I'll do that, top it off right before. When we get to my sister-in-law's house today, I'm gonna do the little turkeys, the green bean casserole. Could not find candy corn. It is full-blown Thanksgiving in every single store. Forget about candy corn. It doesn't exist. So once Halloween is over, the candy is like 50% off and you will never see it again, even like the candy corn. I understand Halloween candy, but like candy corn? Candy corn is like the Thanksgiving candy. I don't understand. You can't find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. I mean, maybe you'll find it like tucked in a corner somewhere, but... day post thanksgiving shenanigans i hope everybody had a really good thanksgiving i know i did we spent some time family my sister-in-law did the most this girl she works full time and she made i mean a turkey a ham plove mashed potatoes she made a whole cake she made mini pies this woman her time management is impeccable it is something to be studied but it was nice it was nice and now it's the next day and it's like everybody's unwinding if you're with family you're probably still spending time with family and all of that i actually have to run to the store and pick up some cat litter and cat food for my cats I did have a new christmas tree come in which i ordered because stephanie letta she posted about it and as soon as i saw it i was like okay that's gonna be perfect for my space i do have one right now but i can keep both of them for my future house like i saw it and i just fell in love with it so we'll see i'll unbox it today and we'll set up the christmas tree together look at those mountains it doesn't do justice in video but in person like seeing this the blue ridge mountains so beautiful i'm gonna make myself another cappuccino and i'm gonna get started on the christmas tree this is the one that i have right now i love it i've had it for a few years but i can't wait to see the one from bj's it's slim so it will fit in like small corners and stuff like she had it in her dining nook so yeah we're gonna open that up right now i just placed an order for my mom's christmas present i ordered her the 22 auras from letta fragrances she smelled it when she was here visiting us and she really liked it so i got that for 25 percent off there are so many sales going on right now like i'm pretty much done with all of my gifts for my sister i'm doing like a little gift box and i ordered day dry shampoo it's the best dry shampoo in my opinion so i'm gonna add that to a gift box as well for 25 percent off i think they're having 25 percent off something like that so it's not a lot i feel like back in the day the sales were definitely like more extreme like 25 percent off almost seems like just like a regular sale but it's definitely better than like your typical 10% that they usually have throughout the year so if you are going to be buying anything like christmas gifts and stuff this is definitely the best time to buy but other than that i'm like all set 
with all my gifts way ahead of the game this year you guys and on another note i did the cure at home at micro infusion system loved my experience with it i just did one session you're supposed to do it every two weeks and i really loved how my skin felt they did say that some people can experience in their faq some dryness after which i am i don't know if you can tell you probably can't because it's hard to tell right now i'm in horrible lighting my skin has like dry patches usually i never experience that like i feel like i've gotten my dry patches at bay and this is two days after the first session that i did so i'm really interested to see what happens moving on forward anywho cappuccino time we're gonna turn on some christmas music get this party started alexa Play Ralph Lauren Christmas playlist on Spotify. A Ralph Lauren Christmas from Spotify. Actually, Alexa, play Christmas hits on Spotify. Christmas hits from Spotify. This is the song. It is now full blown Christmas, you guys. Mm -hmm. seven and a half feet and I feel like this is literally perfect for right here because this one almost seems too small so this one I'm definitely going to use in my girl's room in the future they said they already said they want it they love the flocking I actually love this tree it has a mixed tips which makes it look super realistic so on the outside you have like these realistic tips and then on the inside to fluff it up you have like those fake ones and it is flocked it has like a wooden birch looking base show you right there that's like the base that it stands on so it's a very good tree if you want like a little bit of something next to a fireplace or something like a very small space and this one has the same mixed tips it has these on the outside and especially up top and then it has like these fake ones throughout so what i'm gonna do is do what stephanie did she made it like a down sweeping tree i that's kind of like what sold me i was like wow that looks gorgeous Here's the tree kind of down swept i feel like when you sweep it down it also gets rid of a lot of the gaps because the bottoms are not as full and then it is taller but i bent over the tip because i felt like it just looked super funky because like this one tip sticking up and i'm going to kind of mess with it a little bit more i'm going to go ahead and plug it in here's the tree all lit up I went ahead and made it so that it kind of like fades in and out. It's not exactly twinkling, but she's cute. I like it. I'm sitting here and my kids came in saying how beautiful the tree is. They did the twinkling setting. There's a twinkling setting. I love it. Such a sleepy little boy. I just realized I never showed you this tree, but my kids are sleeping and it's darker now. So it's the perfect time. Like I never showed it fully decorated. I moved the ornaments from here to here with my daughter. This is the perfect size for this space. So again, this is seven and a half. And then this is the twinkle setting. Not all of the lights twinkle, but some of them. And it's so like fairy, dainty, super cute. 